As you know, we've been involved in a months long project to revitalize a pretty worthless <laughs> washed off hill in our backyard and instead to turn it into these raised garden beds through terraces. It's taken months and months, a ton of work, and we are ready to show you these garden beds. In this video, I'm gonna show you some of the key areas of our project. And at the end of the video, we'll talk through a few things I wish we would have thought of ahead of time before embarking on this. Let's get busy. Welcome back to the Busy Gardener channel. Well, something our family has wanted to grow in is in the area of hospitality. And one of the ways we believe that we can do that is by having spaces that are comfortable that can actually host people and make usable those areas of our yard that have been unusable. And so we embarked in October of 2020, we broke ground on this project and we finished with the main hardscaping of this, uh, with this wall, block wall over here um, in August of 2021. So this has been months long and that's gonna lead to some of the things I share with you at the end, things we would have done differently. The Busy Gardener channel, we just launched memberships and so I'm going to be creating a video that talks through the costs of this whole project and posting that for our Garden Boss members. And these raised beds are going to be part of our monthly orchard and garden walkthrough that uh, videos that are going to be available to Green Thumb members and up. So check out our membership, hit, hit the join button below to check out what some of the perks are, see if something works for you. Okay, I want to share with you some of the things about this project that we're really excited about. First off, we're just stoked about how it looks. It feels like such a better put together, more purposeful backyard than just the hill that we had before. I mean, these stairs are super dramatic. Um, by kind of a happy accident, it ends up looking like a really, really long staircase because the bottom stairs are a lot taller than the back stairs. So it looks like those are further away. It was by accident. It's only because we needed to climb higher at the front than we did at the back. One of the things that we are so happy with with this project is the lighting. We try to think ahead and we built in some lighting into the walls using these LED bar lights that are aiming down. I'll put a link to these so you can check them out. Each wall has three of these lights and when it's nighttime, super lit up, makes it easier to navigate here and really happy about that. Another aspect of the lighting are our stairs. And so we ran LED lighting into these stairs that are also low voltage and controlled by a transformer. And so at nighttime, this really becomes an attractive space. And it's nice to have that lighting option available. So if we wanna do some spots or something like that to help with some other accents, we're able to do that and tie into that as well. When it came to making our hill usable, that meant making it usable. And so we built in these intentional garden beds. They're about nine feet deep, about 26 feet wide each. And so we're figuring out how we're gonna configure the planting in these things. But what we did was we filled the top foot or so, or foot and a half with this high quality soil. And it's not just that shredded bark. This has sandy loam mix in with some high quality organic material. It's got some composted chicken manure. It's got some recycled forest products and things like that, but it's a high quality. It's gonna help us get off to a start really quick. And the soil quality is just gonna grow the more that we plant in it. Another quasi garden bed area is this seating area over here. We were excited to have kind of this patio over on the side that would be able to overlook the garden in the afternoons it'll be shaded in the morning you see the sun begin to rise and so wanted this to be kind of a really cozy place for us to be able to sit we're going to be planting some little shrubs in front of this wall we're going to probably be planting a passion fruit against the wall and then up in this upper area here i'm going to be planting some everbearing mulberries and have that be kind of an everberry mulberry patch and so really looking forward to utilizing this space the kids already love it I learned the hard way to try to do things with the future in mind. And so we've over-engineered a little bit. And so beneath each of these stairs, we have installed some piping. I have a two inch pipe, PVC pipe that's going through that we are now running our low voltage lighting through. We're gonna be able to put some drip irrigation tubing through that single thing. But we also did two one inch PVC pipes in case I wanted to attach a dedicated water line to either of those. 
Digging this thing up later and trying to run pipe later would be an absolute nightmare. And so it's so easy just to drop a few pipes down before they pour all the concrete then after. <laughs> I wanna share with you some of the vision that we have for each of these garden beds and what we intend to do with them. This bed here is gonna be like the kids planting bed where they're able to grow their gardening skills where we can put fun things like pumpkins and things like that. This one over here is gonna be where our cut flower garden goes. We transplanted these dahlias from the raised bed garden that we had down there for years. This is gonna be their new home and they're a little bit stressed from the transplant and from the heat, but uh, they'll be okay. So this whole area is gonna be more flowers. And then the remaining four beds, the front ones, those are the big ones. Those are the ones that are nine feet wide by 25, 26 feet long. And those are gonna be where we're planting our vegetables. And we're gonna be able to rotate the crops through the different beds as they need to be rotated. We're able to get those that like more sun over here and those that like a little more shade over here because they get shaded out by that tall pine tree by midday. So we're excited to see what starts growing here over the next year or two. And finally up this hill here, we're gonna be putting a couple of grapevines on this side and then living room on this side next to the garden beds for a wheelbarrow to be taken up pretty easily. And so excited to use this southern facing slope to be able to grow some table grapes. Okay, so we've talked about these garden beds and very, very excited at how those have turned out. Now I wanna quickly talk through three things that we're gonna do with the rest of this space that's all bare right now. The first is all of this dead space here, what we're planning on doing with it is getting a shed that's over there and getting some other structure stuff, maybe putting a place set for kids and their friends. But all of this dead area is going to be covered by a wood chip mulch, like a you know walk on bark type thing. There may be a rock path that's going through it and that's gonna go all the way up this hill. It's gonna go all the way along the other side over there. And in the middle is going to be a strip of grass. That's where that trampoline is right now. It's kind of out of the way because we're gonna be putting the wood chips down pretty soon. In the spirit of that hospitality, something we're really looking forward to is using this area right here. We've got maybe like a 30 foot by 30 foot span and we're gonna be putting a fire pit right about there and putting some seating around that, some Adirondack chairs and having this be a nice, easy place to gather. Can't wait for that to get started. Okay, let's talk about the three things that I wish we would have thought about before starting this project. The first is getting a firm time commitment from our contractor. Something that we found was even though we weren't paying him during the times that he wasn't here, he would sometimes just disappear for a while. And that's why this thing took eight months or whatever it was to get complete when it probably could have been done in you know five or six weeks. And so I think having some sort of something written out on paper where the contractor has some skin in the game, where after a deadline, maybe he forfeits 50 bucks a day or something like that. It might be something to at least consider as you do it. The second thing is budget. Even though we had a set price for the contractor and a bunch of the materials, there were a lot of other costs that crept in. And so having a clearer idea of the budget, whether you look it up yourself or ask the contractor, what other costs should I be expecting with this? Even if you're not paying it to them directly, you still need to consider those things. The soil costs money, rock removal costs money, the caps for these walls cost money, the lights in the walls cost money. And so those things really can add up. The third thing has to do with how much of the project am I going to be responsible for doing? There is a lot that we like to be handy with and do and be hands-on with. And yet this is a gigantic project that we're doing over here. Thankfully, we've got a lot of friends who are gonna come over and help us spread mulch in a couple of weeks, but Knowing what you're getting into personally, do you have space to have time on every weekend and many mornings devoted to preparing this space? I mean, we've been collecting rocks for like a rock path. That's us. Putting the papers down on this thing, that's us. And so looking at, at what is gonna be required of you personally in addition to the finances in order to get this done is another thing to consider. So we're excited about this project. It's gonna to continue to evolve. You're gonna see things planted. And again, if you're not yet a member of the Busy Gardener, subscribe, but be a member. You're gonna be seeing these things included in those monthly orchard and garden walkthroughs. And so I encourage you to do that. I appreciate you tuning into this episode of the Busy Gardener channel where we celebrate the big work being done. Whether you've got one block that you need to put on a wall or 5,000, until next time, stay busy. Mm -hmm.